Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we're going to do some tutorial discussion for chapter 3, focusing on the subtopic of 3.2-ness equation. We're going to focus on the tutorial question 9 and tutorial question 11 respectively. Without any further ado, let us start. So for tutorial question 9, the standard electron potential are given as below. Ozone, uh, in the electrolyte of hydrogen ions, will be accepting two electrons to form oxygen gas and water, with the E0 value of positive 2.07. Meanwhile, for the chlorine, uh, will accept chlorine gas will accept two mole of electron in order to form two chloride aqueous ions. And this will give the E0 value to be positive 1.36 volt. So the pressure of all gases here are given as 1 atm. Now we have to write an equation for the spontaneous reaction. So we need to know the equation that happens at anode and cathode respectively, and then we need to write the balanced chemical equation. So given the data here, you know that the more positive value here will be acting as the cathode. Meanwhile, the less, less positive will be acting as the anode. All right, but given here is the reduction state. So in order to, for us to write the equation at anode, which is oxidation, we have to flip the equation, the react, the product going to be the reactant and the reactant going to be the product. So we're going to flip the equation of oxidation where two chloride aqueous ion forming chlorine gas plus two mole of electron. And the sign here will be changes as well, which is negative 1.36 volt. All right. So the oxidation of fluoride aqueous ion happens. Meanwhile, at cathode, we can follow back the reduction processes here for the ozone forming into oxygen gas. And this gives a value of positive 2.07 volt. And now, in order to provide a balanced chemical equation, the two mole of electron here can be cancelled out with this one. So what's left here is ozone gas plus 2H plus aqueous plus 2 chloride, chloride ion aqueous forming oxygen gas plus water and chlorine gas. And the enthalpy of the reaction, enthal uh, the, sorry, the E0 cell of, for the reaction is positive 0.71 volt, where this one will be adding up with 2.07 volt. Alright, now we have to find to write the cell notation. So as you know, the cell notation is going to be E, reaction at anode, got bridge, and this here is going to be the reaction at cathode. So we're going to do the A, B, C rule. And if our reaction has inner electrode, we need to put in platinum on the left and right hand side respectively. So let's do that. For the reaction at anode, we can see that chloride ions forming chlorine gas. Chloride ion forming chlorine gas. And we need to include the phases as well. So aqueous into gas. And the concentration is 1 molar and 1 atm. Why is that? Because the question says that it is at the standard electrode potential. So standard happens at 1 molar and 1 atm at, at the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. All right. And also given here is the at the end of the cases. Now we're going to do the bridge and we're going to do the reaction at cathode. So the, for the reaction at cathode, we should start with the electrolyte first. So this is our electrolyte. So we need to put our electrolyte H plus and then with, uh, with the concentration of one molar at echo state. And then we can see that oxygen gas here forming or ozone gas here forming oxygen gas. Oxygen gas or ozone into oxygen gas. And the phase is gas at 1 atm and also gas at 1 atm. Alright? And as what you can see here, there is no boundary. Instead of, we are using a comma here. This is because there is no phase change. They are gas and this is gas. So we don't need the phase boundary. But for here, we will need a phase boundary because it's from aqueous into gas. So the phase boundary here is needed. However, gas to gas is not needed. Okay. Alright. And 
at the init because it involves um, gaseous state which is oxygen and chlorine we will usually use the inert electrode which is the platinum so we need to include the platinum electrode at the beginning here and at the end of the cathode here all right so this is the full cell notation for the reaction given here so ensure that you write the phase you write the uh, concentration or the partial pressure as well as be careful with the phase boundary and the electrolyte here is also needed to be uh, placed inside the cell notation because it is part of the reaction here all right now we have to calculate the e naught cell so the e naught cell can be calculated from the e naught cathode minus e naught anode where our e naught cathode here will be taken value as 2.07 volt and our e naught anode here going to be positive 1.36 volt we cannot take this value because the this formula must be taken from the srp values all right so srp values refer to reduction so we need to take the value here and value here not the negative sign because this refers to oxidation all right so the e naught cathode here our cathode is positive 2.07 volt and our n naught going to be positive 1.36 so we can put it straight away 2.07 minus positive 1.36 and what we left is positive 0.71 volt all right now we have calculated the e naught cell now we can use that to answer question number d so for d we have to calculate the cell potential at 25 degrees celsius if the chloride ion has the concentration of 0.01 molar and h plus at 1.0 molar so you know that when the concentration changes from 1 molar to 0.01 molar it happens at the non-standard condition and when it involves a non-standard condition we have to use the Ness equation where E cell equal to E naught cell minus 0.0592 divided by N log Q so um, E cell equal to E naught cell minus 0.0592 our n here can be obtained from the um, from the equation that we have made in part a where our n here refers to 2 meanwhile for q we have to be depending on the uh, balance equation here so our q here refers to the partial pressure of oxygen on the product side chlorine partial pressure of chlorine divided by the reactant so partial pressure of ozone multiplied by a concentration of H plus because it is an aqueous and we need to include the square because it, it has a stoichiometry of 2 and then the chloride ions concentration so Cl minus square because it has a stoichiometry of 2 but for this one, water here, it is not included because solid and liquid is not included in the reaction quotient. Alright, so we got 0 0.0592 divided by N, log, PO2, PCL2, divided by H plus square, CL minus square, and PO3, which is the partial pressure of ozone. And you know that the partial pressure is going to be 1, 1, 1 and the H plus concentration is 1 meanwhile the Cl minus here going to be 0 0.01 so we can substitute that in to be something like this and our N here refers to 2 so please write it N equal to 2 before you substitute that in here okay so we can settle this part first so it will get E naught cell going to be 0 0.71 which is gotten from here and we can settle this part first which is we will get negative 0 0.1184 so once we do the math we will get positive 0 0.592 volt all right now let's move on to the next question so for tutorial question 11 the equilibrium constant key for the following reaction 
uh, can be calculated using the standard reduction potential at 25 degrees Celsius. So, equilibrium constant. So, we have to find the equilibrium constant means that the reaction happens uh, at equilibrium. So, given here is the equation from magnesium solid to magnesium 2 plus aqueous, from zinc 2 plus aqueous into zinc solid. So, we can find the E0 cell first which is the E0 cathode equal to negative 0.76 from zinc 2 plus to zinc solid and our E0 anode here magnesium solid to magnesium 2 plus equal to negative 2.37 so once we do the math we will get positive 1.614 okay now we can use the next equation in order to find the K because at equilibrium, you know that E cell here will refer to zero and our Q can be changed into K. And we can bring this term to the left hand side. So we will get E cell, E not sorry, E not cell equal to 0 0.0592 divided by N log K. And our E not cell can be taken from here, which is positive 0 0.61 equal to n equal to 2 because we know that the reaction involves 2 moles of electron and 0 0.0592 divided by 2 log k. So we can bring this term to the left hand side and we can anti-log it so that we can get the value of k. So finally we'll get k which is the equilibrium constant to be 2.47 times 10 to the power of 54. Alright, so I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!